Professor Kotos has already provided some useful concepts about writing. I asked her specifically for some ideas about how to teach writing, and here's what she said. What advice do you have for teachers about teaching writing? Writing is a difficult skill, even for native speakers of a language. Just think, how often do people write a longer piece of prose? Especially now that texting and chatting on the go encourage short, abbreviated text. It is a difficult skill to teach, because teachers have so many things to focus on. Appropriate vocabulary, grammatical and syntactic accuracy, correct spelling and punctuation, cohesive development of ideas, and content organization that's appropriate for the target register. Plus, teachers should also tap into their students' imagination to help them develop and fine-tune their ideas through planning, drafting, and revision. All these abilities are certainly important, but I would advise teachers, don't try to do it all at the same time. Break these up. Develop activities through which students could practice different abilities and then gradually combine them. The most important piece of advice, though, is to provide students with lots of opportunities for practice. Generally, EFL teachers spend a lot of time teaching grammar and spelling rules rather than helping students develop writing fluency. Before students are asked to produce an academic essay, they can begin to exercise writing about simple topics related to personal interest or social events. They could be encouraged to write every day, for example, keep a journal or blog. In fact, they need to make writing a habit. Another thing is that it's not uncommon for students to see writing assignments only as a means of assessment. For some students, grading is some sort of punishment. Instead, writing assignments should become opportunities to build students' writing skills. Teachers of writing should contextualize tasks and make them real forms of communication. They should also give students multiple opportunities to revise their work for a better grade and provide ample feedback on students' drafts. Note that the feedback has to be selective, and it has to highlight patterns of issues that reoccur so that students don't become overwhelmed and lose focus, which will affect quality. Engaging students in providing peer feedback is also essential because it gives students a chance to have a real audience and to understand whether and why what they're writing may or may not have the desired effect on readers. One last piece of advice. Support students as they compose with a variety of modalities and technologies, because part of writing is learning how to use writing tools. Most students have access to the internet nowadays, and this expands their opportunities for writing practice and authentic communication. Therefore, teachers should explore and recommend tools that can help students write independently and collaboratively in the modalities that best fit their needs and purposes. A note of caution, though, here. Technologies should be very carefully selected, not offered to students just because they might be freely available. Teachers have to know why and how exactly they would implement certain writing tools in their writing classes. While it's important to leverage technological strengths, it's equally crucial to be mindful of the limitations of any writing technologies being used. If you think of Grammarly, for example, this software provides automatic feedback on language errors. The feedback is not always accurate. Teachers then need to explain to their students how to make best use of automated feedback instead of making all the corrections suggested by the computer. Professor Koto's advice is that teachers should not try to teach everything about writing at the same time. There are just too many things to consider. In the next video, Kim will show how she uses technology tools to help students develop their writing skills.